We don't have a final declaration of victory yet, but the numbers tell us it's clear, tell us a clear and convincing story. We're going to win this race. Just look at what has happened since yesterday. 24 hours, we were behind in Georgia. Now we're ahead, and we're going to win that state. 24 hours ago, we were behind in Pennsylvania, and we are going to win Pennsylvania. And now we're ahead, but uh, we're winning in Arizona, we're winning in Nevada. And in fact, uh, our lead just doubled in Nevada. We're on track to over 300 electoral votes, electoral college votes. And look at the national numbers. We're going to win this race with a clear majority of the nation behind us. We've gotten over 74 million votes. Let me repeat that, 74 million votes. That's more than any presidential ticket has ever gotten in the history of the United States of America. And our vote total is still growing. We're beating Donald Trump by over 4 million votes. And that's a margin is still growing as well. One of the things I'm especially proud of is how well we've done across America. And we're going to be uh, the first Democrat to win in Arizona in 24 years. We're going to be the first Democrat to win Georgia in 28 years. And we've rebuilt the blue wall in the middle of the country that crumbled just four years ago. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, the heartland of this nation. I know watching these vote tallies on TV moves very slower, slow, and it's and as slow as it goes, it can be numbing. But never forget, the tallies aren't just numbers. They represent votes and voters, men and women who exercise their fundamental right to have their voice heard. And what's becoming clear each hour is that record number of Americans of all races, faiths, religions chose change over more of the same. They've given us a mandate for action on COVID, the economy, climate change, systemic racism. They made it clear they want the country to come together, not continue to pull apart. I want people to know we're not waiting to get the work done and start our start the, 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 the process. In America, we hold strong views. We have strong disagreements, and that's okay. Strong, strong disagreements are inevitable in a democracy, and strong disagreements are healthy. They're a sign of a vigorous debate, of deeply held views. But we have to remember the purpose of our politics is in total, unrelenting, unending warfare. No, the purpose of our politics, the work of the nation, isn't to fan the flames of conflict, but to solve problems to guarantee justice, to give everybody a fair shot, and to improve the lives of our people. We may be opponents, but we're not enemies. We're Americans. And no matter who you voted for, I'm certain of one thing. The vast majority of the almost 150, Ameri 150 million Americans who voted, they want to get the vitriol out of our politics. We're certainly not going to agree on a lot of issues. But at least we can agree to be civil with one another. We have to put the anger and the demonization behind us. It's time for us to come together as a nation to heal.